Today, we're gonna to talk about some natural beta blockers. Now, what is a beta blocker? Well, a beta blocker is something that inhibits or blocks beta adrenergic receptors, which are certain receptors for adrenaline. So basically it blocks the stress response, which is part of the sympathetic nervous system. And doctors prescribe beta blockers for various conditions. Number one, to help slow down the heartbeat, for abnormal heartbeats, arrhythmias, for high blood pressure, for second heart attacks, for angina, which is chest pain, for essential tremors, if your hands are shaking. And the word essential means unknown cause. So they don't know what causes this type of tremor. Also mitral valve prolapse and a condition called POTS where you get dizzy if you stand up. And it's been used for anxiety as well. All right, so the problem is there are some uh, side effects from taking a beta blocker. So I'm gonna talk about some natural beta blockers, which are certain remedies to reduce adrenaline. Now, of course, adrenaline is part of the um, stress response. So anything you can do to reduce stress would be a very good thing. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend is uh, potassium, to increase your potassium. Potassium is a physiological tranquilizer. It calms the nervous system down. Number two, garlic. Garlic has properties to reduce blood pressure, and it can also help reduce adrenaline. Also, garlic is loaded with vitamin B1, which is another remedy, thiamine. B1 is a great natural remedy to help lower the stress response. Uh, it can reduce both cortisol and adrenaline. Then we have magnesium, which is another mineral that helps calm the nervous system. And by the way, calcium is not something you want to take if you're trying to lower adrenaline. It can increase adrenaline because calcium is part of the contraction mechanism, whereas magnesium is part of the relaxation mechanism. All right, the next one is vitamin D. Vitamin D is really good to help reduce cortisol as well as adrenaline as part of the stress response. And a great herb to take, which is an adaptogen for the adrenals, which can help reduce uh, cortisol as well as adrenaline is ashwagandha. Now, the next thing I would highly recommend to do is do long walks, okay? Every day, it's gonna help calm the nervous system down. It's gonna help reduce stress, increase oxygen. And I would recommend doing my acupressure. If you're not familiar with it, I put a link down below of how to do it, but it can help reduce stress and calm the nervous system, which adrenaline is a part of. All right, we saved the best for last. Okay, so what we're gonna do, this, this, these points are a problem for everyone. Um, the, the adrenal glands are deep, very deep on top of the kidney, deep in the abdomen, okay? So we're not, we, there's no way we can contact the adrenals. However, there's a lot of acupressure points around this. There's a lot of nerve points around the adrenals um, in this area. And in Chinese medicine, there's acupressure points that uh, go right along the side. We're gonna be kind of tapping into that and releasing a lot of the stress in this area around the adrenal. So her belly button, is right here, okay? So we're gonna just go right to the right of it, her right, and down about an inch, and we're gonna press down in here. Now, this is, I'm showing you how to do it on someone else, but we're gonna show you how to do it on yourself. So I, I like to take my thumb and my middle finger again, I'm not, I'm not flipping you off, and I'm gonna press down in here to her tolerance, and I'm actually trying to find some tenderness. This isn't too bad. So if I don't feel any tenderness, I'm gonna kinda of sneak up a little bit, and I'm gonna do all these points up on this line about an inch off the midline, okay? So we're gonna come in here, press in here, and I'm gonna to go to the left and to the right a little bit just to kinda of find these stress pockets. Okay, see if I can find these. Yeah, she has a couple right here. And then once I find it, I'll just hold it for a little bit until it releases. And what I'm doing is I'm extracting stress from this area of her body. And this produces some really cool effects. Relaxation, uh, sleep. Like I've had people had the best sleep in their life. So this is a really important uh, area of the body that like no one works on. So now as I'm coming up to the right side, you do have the gallbladder on the right side, but that's kind of tucked through this area. You're not gonna, it's not gonna be a problem when you press on that. You just have to press to the tolerance of the person so you're not going to uh, deep because it could be sore. Again, we're, that's why I like to have you do this on yourself so you can adjust the pressure so you're not um, you know, going too deep. So some people say, well, is it dangerous to press in your abdomen? I'm like, 
No. Why would it be? Was it dangerous to press in your muscle in your thigh? I mean, you have a layer of fat, okay? And you also have, I didn't mean to say that. Uh, everyone has like a layer of fat. And then the organs are tucked in there with a lot of connective tissue. And um, I've been doing this for like 29 years. And um, it's not a problem. It's pretty safe. You get in there. But like you massage your muscles, but how many times do you work on the, the muscles in, the, in your, your abdomen? Like rarely. And some of the organs, like the kidneys and the liver points. I mean, people never work on these points. But I'm coming through here, right up through in here on this side. And I do find some, some tension. I'm just going to press on that a little bit until it releases. And of course, I'm going a little bit faster than I normally would because uh, sometimes I'll spend maybe two or three minutes just on the right side. Okay, how does that feel? Good. Does it feel uncomfortable? No. Okay, good. So now I'm going to go to the opposite side and press on that. Now, if the person has low back pain, what you do is you press on the exact opposite side on the front. Bam, gone. So you want to find out where it's hurting on the back. Make, like just draw a line right through it and press in the front, it gets rid of the low back pain like that. So on every one, you're going to find like one or two points that are really, really tight. And then you'll work on those more aggressively. So I'm going to press in here and just kind of work that out. And on some people, it'll be very, very tender. So you want to go kind of light on them. Some people have um, a lot, of, they have a huge belly. You can still do this, but um, uh, you will, because you're working on the superficial points more than anything that connect. Because an acupressure point, do you know what an acupressure point is? No. Okay. An acupressure point is an area on the surface of the skin that kind of connects on the inside. You have all these electrical circuits, so it's kind of like a switchboard. I can press this point and it can affect inside. Does that make sense? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm falling Are you? Good. So it's working. <laughs> so, um, so a lot of these are nerve points. Kind of, you can look at them like nerve points because they really are. So, um, acupressure points are communication channels. If you if you take a look at the nervous system being the freeway, the acupressure points are the side roads. So they're just other forms of communication that you can affect. Like right through in here. This is a good one. And you, if you think about the t last time you were stressed, I will guarantee you have a lot of tension in your abdomen after that. And you'll feel like, why is it so hard in it? Because uh, you have the adrenaline, the adrenals pumping a lot of hormones and it tightens up all the muscles. You start working on that, it, it gets rid of stress. So what we're doing now is we're handling, she's sleeping now. We're handling physical stress that is stuck in your body for years. I mean, probably what, 30 years, mm -hmm. 35 years? Yeah, right. <laughs> now, you have some people that have never experienced stress in their life. And I'm like, do you live on planet Earth? And other people have experienced a tremendous amount. But if I keep doing this and I'm just holding these pressure points, like I'm trying to keep a, a broad content. I'm not like digging up, like, a, like look at how wide my thumb is, okay? I have huge thumbs. So that comes in handy. So, um, but if you have this little tiny thumb, that could be, it's like sticking a little thing in there. It's, it could irritate the area. So you want to keep a broad contact, almost like take your two fingers and kind of separate them out and press in there. And, uh, okay, good, good. So now you ready for a nap? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So let's bring the next person up. Thank you very Hi. much. Okay, so um, <clears throat> just relax your arms right here. Uh, where's your belly button? Right there. Okay, so we're gonna just start, and again, one inch off the midline, taking my two fingers, and you can use your thumb or several fingers to equal the size of the thumb if you, have a, uh, if you don't have a thumb like mine. And come right in there. And we're just going to work out. He has some tension in here. Um, have you ever experienced stress before? Stress? No, not no. really. Okay. It's a new concept for people. But uh, 
um, right through there. So we're just going to press in there. And again, I'm, I'm watching the eyeballs to make sure they don't pop out because I don't want to press too hard. <laughs> and then so each time I do this, I might do it a couple times a week or maybe once a week. Each time I do this, I'm going to feel like less and less tension to the point where <laughs> I go right in there and like there's nothing. There's no resistance. So that's the goal. So it, if you can do it on yourself, I would do it every night before you go to bed. Now I'm going fast for time, but I wanted to see if there's any, let's see right through in there. That's a ton of a tight spot right there. Okay, now I'm going to do the opposite side. If the right side is not sore, chances are the opposite side will be sore. It's always going to be one or the other. So if you find that there's like one or two points that's all that you find that's constantly sore, those are the points that you're going to focus on. So that's just kind of an example. Now, let's say he was going to do it to himself. He'd use this torture, I mean treatment device. And it has these longer prongs and the shorter ones. You want to use the long one. You'd want to have him grab the tool. And now we're going to position this, this little thing right on this point. Okay, so I want you to kind of press just like, like, I, like you felt me doing it. Uh -huh. And tell me if you can feel the same kind of pressure. Yeah. Feel that? Uh, am I supposed to be like moving up? Well, yeah, just oh. start, start with one point and just okay. press in, in there. Does it feel similar? Yeah, it does. Okay. And the reason why it feels similar is because I developed this tool after my thumb uh, for myself. Because, like, I was the last guy to get treatments. I never got treatment. So I'm like, I'm going to do it myself. So I developed this device that mimics my hand because we're going to show you the neck points as well. Um, and we just come in here. And then he would, before he goes to bed, right, he's in his bed. He puts his point on there. Let's and try to actually get through all of it without falling asleep. But by the time he gets all the way to the top, I mean, so many times I'll wake up and I'm like, oh, wow, where's that device? It's right next to me. I almost rolled on it. Like I literally fall asleep while I'm doing this because it's releasing a lot of stress. Is it creating any effect on you yet? Yeah, it's very comfortable. Yeah. It's interesting um, how it gives people so much relief. Um, I think because you have the kidneys in there, you have the solar plexus, which are all these nerve connections, you have uh, all these connections to the adrenal points, um, you have the gallbladder, the digestion. Um, you probably, have you heard of the flight or fight mode? Have you ever heard of the flight or fight? Okay, it's called the sympathetic nervous system. That's like the stress mode. Then you have another system, and I'm going to give you this big word, it's called enteric. And that's part of the, the system that's below your awareness that actually runs all your digestion. And that's really another system that we're tapping into right now. We're actually stimulating it to relax. A lot of stuff that's going on in your gut, nerve-wise, can affect your head. Like if you ate the wrong thing and you feel bloated, you're going to feel funky in the head. How many of you experienced that? Yeah. So your digestion can affect your mood. Big time. There's a connection. So when you release the tension in your gut, especially if you have like IBS or irritable bowel syndrome or inflammation that creates like spasms, it gives you a lot of relief in the head. Now, when we come up to these points right through in here, like on his right side, it's a little sore, right? Yeah. So now you adjust the pressure so it's just right for you. He's hitting something called the phrenic nerve that goes right up to his diaphragm, up to the right neck. He's going to release all the right neck tension. So the more he does this point here, he's going to have like less tension on the right side up here. Uh, even like headaches will go away on the right side, shoulder stuff. So anything right here will, will melt this side right here. If he does the other side, he'll actually re release the other side here. Okay? How's that feel? Really good. Okay, good. So now he'll do the other side here. Take your belly button and just go right to the side of it. And you want to go... See how I'm rocking left and right? And you just find the spot. Find the sweet spot where it's like, ooh, that's a little thing that smarts. And you just 
Now, don't do this with a knife, okay? Don't do that with a sharp object. Use it the massage tool. That, I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> delayed humor here. Um, but it'll, um, you want to use something that's kind of like a dull point. And, um, okay, and then you just kind of inch up a little bit. A little sore? Yeah. Right. So th this is something he would need to do every single night and to the point where there's no soreness. And he would find that his ability to relax. Like recently I saw this, so I was watching this movie. Um, it was um, Lincoln. I mean, here's a guy who his dad beat him growing up. His mom died. I think his sister and his brother died. And then his first wife or first love died. And then his, several of his kids died. I mean, like, can you imagine how many losses this guy had, right? And then he becomes the president, which is a no-stress job. I mean, he was, I think, 50, he, I'm 53. He was like 53. He looked like a grandfather. He was look old. So stress, believe it or not, does age you. I'm going to put some years, give you some gray hairs, especially if you have kids. So um, this basically kind of pulls the stress out so you can <clears throat> go back into life, and recharge and start over again because you don't want to just keep carrying the stress around your whole life might as well kind of have a blank slate clean it out because our bodies are sponges and we pick up stress i think he's actually asleep did you fall asleep no, I'm not. did you fall asleep <laughs> yeah i did kind of see <laughs> it worked I'm not gonna work. and he did it to himself i didn't even do anything yeah so this is a, a really um amazing um so a lot of you guys watching already have the tool because I actually hear the success. If you don't have this tool, you need to get it um, because I fly everywhere I go. I travel. I bring it with me in the plane. I do my neck points because you sit on these, these, these little, I mean, you flew to California, right? And you're trying to, with your neck, get this thing out, sit back and just kind of just like, I have people like, where did you get that? Can I borrow that? I'm like, no, I'm like, I'm going to keep it on my neck. So it's good uh, for that and also for jet lag because you can actually work on these points and kind of rejuvenate yourself. Okay, then we come to this point. Come to this point right, right through in here. Is that a little sore? Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, he's going to work on that. And then what will happen is you're going to feel like um, you're going to take layers of this stuff off. And it could take a while. Um, and if you had like a fight with your spouse, you could find that you can like put the st stress back in, but at least you have the tool to pull it out. You said throw it at him? No. Oh, you, <laughs> you have the tool as not as a weapon, oh. but as a therapy to help yourself so you can sleep, so you're not thinking about it all night long. Or you could throw it at him too. Yeah, um, it's plastic, it won't break. Don't worry about it. I'm just kidding. You don't want to throw it on your spouse. Okay, good. So now, tell me, just sit up for me for a second. Face the camera. How do you feel? A little lightheaded, but I feel mm -hmm. a lot better. Yeah. Do you feel like stress, more stress-free? Yeah, I do. Awesome. I feel more relaxed. Yes. Yeah. That is the goal. Thank you. We did it. Okay, appreciate it. Uh -huh.